Hello everybody, Eugene Bear here, B period Eugene Bear on YouTube, 300 teachings. I got my black hat here with the English letters for the sacred name of God on the front. Uh, lukewarm coffee, got a lot of ground to cover today, so we're going to get right to it. Not too much storytelling here. I have a teaching. And uh, the teaching is to unmask or reveal the sacred name of God hidden under the four capital letters Lord in Exodus 3.15. God's name is not I am. I am the ever existing one. Infinity comes under the title category. Now, Jews are taught that the name is so sacred, don't pronounce it. So hide it. But the scripture says, my people shall know my name and praise it and worship it and speak it and put it on hats. Uh, and the name is YHVH. We won't get into the big debate on uh, the third letter. Uh, a lot of people have gone to modern Hebrew. They've gone to the Hebrew with the dots and the dashes over the top to clarify the meaning of the Hebrew letter or word. Then they've gone to ancient Hebrew, and then they've gone to figure. Uh, ancient Hebrew is Aramaic Hebrew. Uh, the third one and the fourth one is the figures, like the ox head and the little man with two hands raised up. And, and the sacrifice that God is pleased with now is the praise, raising your hands and surrender in fear to God and respect to God. And so the little stick figure with two arms raised is the second letter, H. The first letter, Yod, is a value of 10 and has an ox head. And the second letter is the little stick man. The value of 5 is the H, the Y and the H. So we can stick with that. If there's a big debate over the next two letters, Let's just stay with the short form, and that's my point here. When I took this information, and uh, I am the teacher of four, if we're going to study, discuss, or you can even use the word debate, truth in the scriptures, I have four rules that we play by. If the Holy Spirit didn't put that word in the Bible, you can't use it, such as Trinity or Rapture. Or uh, the latest one I ran into is headquarters. I tried to find one, one or two times for a true witness the word headquarters in the New Testament. Couldn't find it. So I can't use it. i got to abide by my own rules. Now, when I found the four scriptures for the four letters on my hat, if you have your pen out, you can jot them down real quick. The first one is hidden in Exodus 3.15 under Lord. Every time you come... And, and these four letters, the sacred name of God, is in the Old Testament over seven, or the Bible over 7,000 times. And Satan did a good work hiding it, you know. Okay, so anyway, Exodus 3.15. Now I want four scriptures to back up what I'm saying. Isaiah 42, 6 through 9. You find the Y-H-V-H in Hebrew, okay? And... Uh, I'll skip that one because that's the one we're coming back to. Psalms 83, 13 through 18, you find in Hebrew, the Y, the H, the V, and the H. And Psalms 96, 1 through 6, the Y, the H, the V, and the H. That was Psalms 96, 1 through 6. And back to, for the fourth time, locked in major doctrine, was Exodus 315, all right? And the first one uh, uh, was Isaiah 42, 6 through 9, and Psalm 68, 1. Now, here we are, 68, 1 through 4. And for the longest time, I tried to find at least a true witness so I could use this. In other words, the rules, the four tools in the rules are zero, non-scripture, once is not good enough. I have it once right here. I'm going to read it to you. All begins with a true witness of two, major doctrine of three, locked in of four. 
So if you're going to present your point to me, you have to have two verses of Scripture saying the same thing. Or oh, we're not playing by the same rules. We have to play by the same rules. I was an umpire in softball and in basketball. I knew all the rules. I could blow the whistle and force the rules, okay? And also I started to take, uh, be a referee in football, but there were, uh, I had to drop out for job reasons, the schooling, because rules in football, there's like three times more than the other two sports. Depends on where the ball's in the quarterback's hands, whether it's in the air, whether it's been caught, all these different situations, uh, three or four degrees of the same situation. So anyway, Psalm 68.4 reads like this. I have the Hebrew right here above, and I have the English below. I'm going to read to you the English because the two witnesses in the book of Acts, two men dressed in white, said, you Galilean fishermen, why do you stand here gazing into the sky or into the clouds? The same Lord Jesus will return in like manner that you have seen him go or vanish or disappear in the clouds. He shall return in the clouds. Okay. And it says in Psalm 68, 4, sing unto Elohim. And that means creator. That's a singular plural title. There's three singulars and two singular plurals. Sing unto Elohim, Elohim, praise his name or authority. Exalt him who rides on the clouds. By his name, Y-A-H here. And now I'm going to take you to the concordance. Y-A-H, Yah, and rejoice before his presence. And Yah here is written, Y-A-H, and you get a Y-H in the Hebrew in Psalms, but when you go to Psalms in the King James in Psalms 68.4, you find J-A-H, Ja, in capital letters, okay? Now, let me explain something to you. Guess what? I prayed for the longest time, for years. Lord, where is the second in Hebrew the J or, or the Y in the H alone, the short form. I need my true witness. I want my major doctrine. <laughs> Couldn't find it for the longest time till today, this morning. That's why I'm teaching this teaching. Look at this. We're doing pretty good. Seven minutes. I'm not going to get be able to get it too deep. Here is the Y in the H in Hebrew. This is called the short form of the sacred name. Now. Uh, about three to 500 years after the old ancient Hebrew, they added dots and dashes and all kinds of figures in, around, above, below to help clarify the meaning of the Hebrew figure, all right? And then the third one is Aramaic Hebrew. Hebrew, Abram, Abraham the wanderer, Abraham the Hebrew, spoke a Babylonian language, an Aramaic language along the Euphrates River. He went from uh, Ur, his hometown or homeland, up the Euphrates to the Heron Valley, where, where his father passed away, I believe, if I'm correct. Now, even older than today's Hebrew, uh, Hebrew of over a thousand years ago, Aramaic Hebrew, all right, which has different figures than this. There is the figure Hebrew, where you have the ox head and the little stick man with two hands raised. This is a Y and this is an H, the first letter and the second letter in Hebrew figures. Now in modern day English, in the Hebrew direction, we have the Y and the H, and in Psalms, 68.4, we got J-A-H for Jah. But we know, and it's this is not debatable. See, the big debate is over the third letter, whether it's a Wa or a Va, okay? But when you count and you get to the sixth letter of the Hebrew alphabet, they always say Va or Va, the V sound. So I don't know what the big deal is there. But anyway, they insist in the old ancient Hebrew that it's a Wa sound. I'm only dealing with the first two letters, the short form of the name, whether it's Yahweh or Yahvah or Yahshua or Yahoshua. I'm dealing with the short form, which you can find in Psalm 68, just a Y and an H. 
And we know there's no J in Hebrew for Jesus. So his name is Yahshua or Yahoshua. Yah, short form. The Father and the Son in short form have identical names, Y-H. And it's not J-H like you read in King James where it says J-A-H in all capital letters. In fact, I have it right here before me. I will read it to you, and then we got to move real quick. Check this out. God not only gave it to me a second time in my prayer to find the YH alone, but he gave it to me four more times plus Psalms for a total of five. One pass locked in Major Doctor. It was there all the time, and I kept passing over it. And he reminded me today, he backed me up, the Holy Spirit had thought, backed me up. Now let me read. If I hope you've turned to Psalm 68. We're going to read 3 through 5. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. The Joy Rejoice book, Philippians in the New Testament. Before God. Yea, let them exalt, rejoice, in joy or rejoicing. Sing unto the Lord, sing praise. In other words, the little stick man that raises his hands and praises the Lord, surrender. A circumcision made without hands, nothing you do with your hands counts, just raise them in praise, in sacrifice of praise. All right? Uh, exalt him in the middle of four that rideth upon the heavens in King James. In the Hebrews, it says the clouds. He shall return with clouds, all right? On the heavens, by his name, Jah, J-A-H, in all capital letters in English right here, all right? But we know, I just read to you in the Hebrews where it said Yah, Y-A-H, okay? And rejoice before him, the one, all right? I added the one, and a father, I put L over A. L means first, singular first, all right? L father of the fatherless and a judge of the widows is God Lord. And you find Lord God for the first time in Genesis 2-4. That's another teaching. In his holy habitation, some scriptures say holy mountain or holy habitation. All right, now, guess where? The four times of Yah is. <laughs> I'd read it so many times that it never dawned on me. 12 minutes and 49 seconds. The 19th chapter of Revelation, you find, Hallow, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Lord teaches how to pray. The very first thing he told him to do, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And when the little stick man praises God with his hands up, he says, hallelujah, hallowed, L, E-L, singular, you, you and I, you, Yah. And it's not J-A-H, it's Y-A-H. And Yah, 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 four times in chapter 19. Praise Yah, praise Yah, praise Yah, praise Yah. I have got now in the scriptures Y H. The sacred name of God in short form five times. Psalms and four times in Revelation, the 19th chapter. It's 13 minutes and 40 some seconds. I want to point out here, saying, he heard voices, saying three times, and they said one time. But saying three times, and what were they saying? Hallelujah, hallowed El, you Yah. Praise ye God, praise ye Yah, the short form of God's name, Yah, Lord God, Yah. Okay, saying, hallelujah, salvation, glory, honor, power unto Lord God, XL hour, Lord God, Genesis 2-4, the second account. Oh, it's 14 minutes. Read read all of 19 for yourselves. I got to go 14 minutes and 32 seconds. Love you. Five times Y-A-H in scripture. One pass locked in major doctrine. Bye.